Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we got a little paint project we're doing gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna paint the Ravel 85 Olds 442 model. Yes, everybody knows that kit. I'll tell you what, this is a very nice kit. If you've never done this kit, you need to do this kit because this is a really nice builder. Goes together very, very well. The box isn't cooperating because it's just the, the box. Uh, the rest of it's down here, so you get the point. Uh, yeah, so this is a very cool car. You can build the stock or this um, FE3-X version, the show car as they go. Um, but yeah, like I say, you can do the stock version. I personally like the stock version, but I would like to build the one on the cover there one day. But uh, this one here is going to go to my friend JT over at I Need My Garage Time. So we're going to paint this for him and send it his way uh, down to the big state of Texas. So... We're going to paint this bad boy in a gray and silver. So in this video, we are going to do, we're going to get the body prepped and we're going to get some primer on it. We're going to get it painted and maybe decaled. I'm not sure if we're going to decal or not. We may just get it painted. We'll see how far we get from that. Time permitting, uh, we'll see how it goes. But we're going to do a start to finish on this and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So let's go to the bench and... Let's get started on this thing. All right, guys, bench side. So we got our model kit here looking pretty nice. It's pretty clean, pretty smooth. So what we're going to do to start with, we're going to give it a real quick light sanding. Uh, but first, before we do that, we're going to drill these panel lines out just a little bit and kind of go from there. So I'm going to put some cheat tires on because I cannot see nothing up close. I love getting old, but that's just the way it goes. So. Uh, I'm using this guy here. Uh, this is a fine uh, scribing blade from, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I do. I believe this is from Scale Motorsport is where this come from. Uh, they sell them in a kind of like a pack and you just cut them out like a, yeah. And they work pretty good. They are very, very sharp. And obviously you can see they're very thin. Uh, the only downside to it, if you do go out of the line, it'll take the side of the car like it's nobody's business and you'll be like crying in the wind so you just got to be careful with it a little bit but other than that they do work very very well then they bite exceptionally good so you just gotta be careful with it but we're just gonna just do a light scribing on it and kind of go from there I'm not liking the way that's starting out already So we're just gonna just hit it just a little bit. I'm not trying to cut the doors off and it just give it a little bit of depth. Get that guy. We do down here. You see this thing's almost a little too aggressive. You see it rolling up that plastic there. Do a little swipe. That was close, my man. That was close. We'll go over here, maybe get a little bit of control. Oh, see? There we go. I just screwed myself. Look at that. And that's how the game is played. So that's okay. I'm going to have to wet sand that just a little bit. So that's one thing I don't like about using these. They are very sharp, and the control is not as much as I'd like to see. But that's okay. These things happen. This is why I'm showing you guys how this stuff works, because these, this is what happens... And these are things we have to do to fix it, so not a big deal. Get that up here. And I'm nervous about this side, so I'm just going to get one more little hit. We'll call it good. And that's something you just got to use a little control, a little patience, and you're there. There, it looks pretty good. So now with that done, then we're going to come back and wet sand it. So we're going to go through and do the trunk. Let's do both sides a little. A little bit of pressure there. This isn't something you have to do. I just think it looks nicer because it gives a little more depth. And you can always do this too, as you can, once you paint it, you can come back and do this uh, once it's painted. If you can be careful and not go outside the line, because uh, then you're kind of starting all over the place. You're starting from scratch. So I try to just do it one and done here and call it good because this sucker digs. When it goes to town, it digs, and she digs deep. So I can see in the plastic 
There's some rippling right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. The plastic's rippled right there. So what we're going to do before we do anything else to this, we're going to sand this down. So I'm actually going to go a little aggressive with it off the get-go. We're going to start with a thousand. Just to try to get that ripple out of there. Get my nasty water bowl here. A little wah-wah. Try to clean that out. Just keeping it real, guys. That's how it is. I haven't been out here for a few days, so the water I had in there, she all dried up. She all dried up and went home. So whatever I did last was blue. So we'll get that out of there because you don't want the blue color to dig into your white plastic because that will do that. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, take this guy, we'll cut her in half one more time. Like so, and we'll give her a little fold. Just gives a little more control. And we're just going to give it a nice little scuffy scuff. I'm not worried about the whole car with this. I just want to get rid of this ripple on the side of the fender because that looks kind of weird. So I'm just going to give this a nice little sanding right here. Not in the body line, just the, right above it. And just get rid of that ripple in the plastic because I don't know what that's about because you're really going to see that in the paint. Try and keep this steady. Wipe it off and check it. Looks pretty good. Make sure the other side's not like that. No, that looks pretty good. So I guess it's just that side there, just one and done. Okay, so we'll go across these areas where we sanded the the lines with the heavier paper. And then I I got out a line right here. I scratched it. There it is, right there. Oh, I can see that. <clears throat> Now the proper thing would be is to probably hit it with a little bit of putty and sand it back, but we just sand along the mold or the body line and there we go. So at this point now I'm going to hit it with some uh, 3000 just to get it, the plastic smoothed down and then we should be good to go from there. So I got a little 3000 here. So we'll just give it a, just a, a nice overall. This does two things. It gives us a little bit of a cleans the plastic up in case there's any little imperfections and it gives a little bit of something for the primer to stick to just roughens it up just enough just enough to let it know any leans business so this is 3000 trizac is what i'm using this so there's no emblems on this car so it's kind of nice you can not have to worry about that there is a trunk um lock there so you don't obviously want to sand that off Unless you do, I mean, I don't, that's up to you, but. So we'll give it just a kind of a quick hit here. Now I'm not worried about mold lines because I'm not sanding it heavy enough to get any of that detail out of there. Just enough to let know we're gonna paint it. Okay, that looks fantastic. All right, now we're gonna do the hood. So I don't know which hood he's gonna want. So I'm gonna do is we're just gonna shoot both hoods. And then he can decide on which hood he wants from that point. Real quick sandy sand. Okay, so we're going to sand that. We'll do this hood as well, just in case he wants a cowl hood. Everybody likes a cowl hood. Alright guys, I'm going to take this in and wash it up. And we'll be right back and we'll get mixing some primer. And we will go from there. Please hold. Okay guys, so I'm just using a microfiber towel. Dry these off. Now we're using a new one. You never know. Well, since I don't have any of my blue tack here, I'm all out. And I bought some stuff from Hobby Lobby, and I, I mentioned before it just doesn't hold that good. And you guys said it holds good for you. Maybe I just got something that was like old or something, but I threw it in the garbage. I gave up on it. And I it it dropped too many parts on me. So uh, we're gonna do another way because I don't have any of the blue here. So I just take some old sprue, cut it up, and this works just as good. A little more time consuming but it works pretty good so i need six of these four five six there we go and just cut the ends flat and we're just going to super glue these on to the part so we'll just take some control gel here we'll just give it a little plop here somewhere not too important we'll stick something on there hold it in so we'll give it a minute 
Okay, now we're good to go. All right, guys, so we got those all cleaned off and they are installed. I think looking cool. You know, instead of spraying this, I should have actually just sprayed this in the cap. Took a little bit of, on the pipe it and that's a, kind of the best way to do it. But I'm running super low on these, so I'm trying to be careful with them. I got an order from Amazon coming in with them. I usually get them by a bag of 300. And I'm just, I got like just a few left, so I don't want to waste any more than I have to. So that's the reason I didn't go that route this time, uh, just because. I thought I ordered them the other day, and I didn't. Um, so yeah, so there we are. So we're going to start off. Uh, we'll get this out of our way. So we're going to start off. We're going to put black primer on top of it. Uh, the gray we're using, uh, we're going to use actually lacquer in this because I don't have anything in enamelous color. So we're actually going to use, on the bottom, we're going to use mica silver. That's kind of a cool color. And on the top, we're actually going to use a military medium air gray. So that's kind of a neat color. So I want this to be just a shade darker. Uh, that's why I'm putting it on the black. And plus, this will fill in some body lines a little bit too. Uh, make it look pretty good. So this is uh, Mr. Surfacer 1500. Uh, pretty good stuff. I do not know the number of it because it is all in Japanese. Now this stuff here, you don't want to mix it 50-50. Uh, just because it's not going to spray very well for you. So I usually do... So what I'm going to do is 5 milliliters of primer and then 7.5 of thinner. So that's going to give me quite a bit. But we got a lot of things we need to take care of here. And this actually goes a long ways. Probably mixing way more than I need, but I don't want to come back. So, all right. So thinner, we're using Mr. Color 400. Well, it's the 400 is the bottle size. So there's half and 7.5. Mix those guys together. Should be all good. And that is plenty of primer for what we're gonna need. Okay, as always, I get myself a little bit thinner. Good to go, just in case I need a little extra, plus to clean the brush out in the end. So at this, we're going to use the Iwata. Uh, this has a, a 0.3 needle in it. And we're going to run about 20 PSI of air pressure. Uh, that should do the job. So. so I always like to test a spoon first. I know a lot of guys do not, but I do this for two reasons. Once I, one, I can see how it's going to paint. And two, if I'm having a problem with my gun, now I didn't paint the body and try to figure out, okay, what, what's going on here? So you can see it paints very well. So that's a very good mix, which is nice. Life is good. And as always, I always start with a smaller piece. Get a little air first. All right, guys, so we got the body primered. And I did notice there's a little glitch here in the molding process. Uh, I don't know, it just looked kind of weird. So I kind of sanded that down a little bit with a, a file. I got this kind of cool file I would show you, but I have no idea what I just did with it. Um, but anyways, it's obviously a file. And it files things. So, oh, I found it. Here we go. It's a square file. That works really nice. Where did I get it? I have no idea. 
it's made in China. Yeah, I don't know. It just showed up one day. Uh, so anyways, it was nice because I could just take it real easy along this drip rail almost and just lightly work back and forth just a little bit just to get that corner. And you can see, see I, I slipped out a couple times. Like I said, just try to keep it real because these are the things that happen to all of us. Um, just nobody likes to share it. So that's how it goes. So anyways, we're back at it right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is give this just a real light wet coat. Uh, a little bit of sanding with some 5000 Trizac. So I got my bowl of mystery water here because I don't know what's in it. Uh, I'll get some floaties in there. Probably should dump that. It looks a little rough. One day I'm going to break down and get my new bowl. This one, this one's kind of nasty. And like I say, we're using a 5000 Trizac. Soak that for a minute. Now, um, this isn't on very heavy, this primer. So I'm just going to go through and give it just a very, very, very light scuffing. Um, in anywhere I see there's dust or anything in the paint, I'm going to sand it down to see uh, and kind of go from there. So hopefully, 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 we're looking pretty good. Um, yeah, so, and like I say, definitely, as always, guys, make sure you stay away from those corners. Now, the primer, I'm not overly worried about. Because uh, we are, we're going to put the lacquer on this. See right here, scratch that so I can feel that. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to take that down a ways. But to take, I can't just take that down because you're going to see a little bit of dimple there. So I'm going to have to walk the rest of it down around it. Just so you don't see that. You just kind of walk it out a little bit out here. So we're going to get this kind of down where we've got to have it. Now the gray I'm putting on this will cover very well really don't even need the black on it I scratched it pretty good very nice very nice mm -mm. might be down further than I want to see it that's right she'll fill in I just don't want to see those marks in there so in reality if I was spraying any other color than what we're using uh, I would have to redo this in black primer so right here I can feel I can feel a little dip in there so we're gonna have to sand down the we're gonna have to back sand it a little bit this back here just to thin it back so we're gonna take it down just so I can start seeing a little bit of white puffing through like I say if I wasn't using this we'd have to respray it but being we're just doing the the, the gray lacquer and it's not metallic uh, this will cover it very well now once again this is not a necessary step uh, I just like it because if you want that really really baby smooth finish uh, these are the steps you're going to have to do to get it to look good. Not always. I mean, you could layer the paint on pretty decent. Give it a little wet sand and away you go. And you can see just that little bit I'm hitting right there. See it goes through. Uh, I don't have the primer on very thick. So we're basically just taking this, just cutting it down. Just taking a little bit of high spots off it. Okay, and that's going to be good enough for that. Like I said, we don't have to get carried away with it. Now the hood, if I remember right, I had a couple blemishes. No, I got one blemish right there in it. So we're going to have to sand that down a little bit. So I just wanted to make sure this was going to spray okay. So I actually did a test hood, the other hood that come with it. And GT, I'll send this to you also. Um, this is just brush, airbrushed uh, the color we're doing it with um, clear on it. So this isn't polished, this is nothing, this is just straight out of the gun. I just took it out of the Susie Bake oven here a little bit. So it looks pretty nice. So that's what the whole car is going to look like other than the mica silver on the bottom. So it should look pretty cool. That'll look really nice polished up a little bit more. So that's what we're after. That's what we're shooting for to get that overall whole look of the car. Like I say guys, remember if you, if you have a spot in it here and you paint it, that spot's obviously going to keep going up and up and up. And then in the end, you're going to try to sand it out of there. You're like, man, I can't get the spot out here. Then you're going to work on it, work on it, and you're going to end up burning through it because it wasn't in the last layer. It was in the first layer. So you got to get those out of the first layer before you go to the next one because you're just going to bring it forward each time. So you got to really pay attention to which what you know, where everything's at. It all depends on what you're looking for. I mean, if you're looking for that, oh, yeah, look, I mean, you got to take a little time and put a little practice and time in it. But if you want it just to be colored, well, just paint it. It's your model, do it however you want. I'm not a big fan of detailing. 
um, certain things, you know, a lot of guys are. That's just me. So I get the enjoyment out of doing this and that's it. Uh, this here, I'm not going to sand it very heavy because I don't need to. Okay, so now we got that all done. Uh, the other thing I did not primer, but it's not a big deal, is the mirrors. So we got a primer, or um, we're going to paint those gray and we'll roll with that. Other than that, I think we should be all set to go. So a lot of times I'll primer these other pieces I know I'm not using. Uh, mainly because I like to see how it paints. So I'll, I'll paint this first and I like to see how it sprays. So I'm just going to take one of my microfiber towels, wipe it down, and just make sure that we got it all nice and cleaned off. Spot right there. I thought there was a spot there. It didn't sand out. So we'll take care of that quick. These should be nothing. Okay, so we're going to get our water back in play here. And it's, we're probably going to have to take that down to the right of the... So sometimes this is where like regular sandpaper comes in more handy um, versus the sponge style because it'll cut that quicker versus like taking the whole thing down around it. So we'll just keep checking it until it's gone. So I don't need to... If we don't have to sand it all the way back, then we won't. I can see there's a, I don't know if that's a ripple in the plastic. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, so we had to sand that back quite a ways, which I figured that's what was going to have to happen. That's all right. And I saw another spot on here. So we're going to take care of that quick. And like I mentioned, if this was any other color, uh, we'd probably have to go through and redo it. Okay. You can see a little dimple there where it polished down, where it sanded out. I'm um, not sure what that's all about. So we're going to leave that. Like I say, we'll be okay in the gray. Um, other than that, we would have to repaint that. So we're good. We're okay. So what we're going to do on this is that's going to get painted first. So we can build that up. Uh, not so much of a build up, just to get some coverage on, down on it. I used some 2500 regular paper at first. Some of those spots are kind of hard to get out. When you're removing little spots like that, 5000 is really not the way to go. Uh, it's actually a little just too much. You'll be out there all day just like, okay, come on. So I kind of hit it with a little heavier some. All right, I think we're good to go. All right, we'll get some paint mixed up. Get this back on some skews. And we're going to shoot it with their gray Tamiya. So the wife ordered me some cuts off Amazon. I had her give me some new pipettes. So we got pipettes galore. And I uh, didn't know about the cups are coming. So if she's seen these, she got these going. I had cups. I just got some from Hobby to Miles. That's where I normally get them from. But I figured, well, she's going to order them for me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain. These are a little different. So we're going to see how these work. A little bigger. And I don't know why, but they come with a bunch of, these are stain epoxy resin cups. Made in China. Okay. Oh, these are nice. Okay. They're a lot more sturdier. Uh, they look like the dude job just as well. And they are marked out a lot nicer. Because you can actually, they're printed instead of just um, stamped in the plastic. So, eh. I think she said they're like seven bucks. So, I mean, that's pretty cheap. All right. So, what we're going to do, guys. We're using medium air gray. That's the color we're going with. This is a LP85. So, that's the gray that's going on the top of the car. All right. So, we're going to take her up to the five mark here okay, and for thinner we're just going to use the Tamiya lacquer thinner this is item 87077 okay so we're at five and five so we're just going to dump this guy in here and as always I can resave this cup so we're just going to keep him off the side and let it air out a little bit Take my pipette that had the paint in it, and we'll just mix it with this, and we will get it shot. So we're going to use the Iwata has a 0.3 millimeter needle, and we're going to use it about 18 to 19 psi of air pressure at a room temperature of about 69 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So like I say, we're going to do a start with nice coats uh, over top of the white, just to kind of fill that in first, and then we'll move on to the rest of the car, and we'll just kind of come back and pay a little heavier attention to those and you'll see as we go they'll fill in just fine sad thing is this is almost like a primer gray color um i probably should have found a metallic but i think this will look pretty nice i almost could have used gray primer it probably would look just maybe as good i don't know 
All right, we'll take it over to the paint booth and let's spray this thing. All right, guys, we got that baby sitting in the Suzy Bake oven for a minute. Uh, what we're going to do is see how it looks. Uh, we may give it just a light, light wet sand. All right, guys, so we've got her out of the dehydrator. She don't look too bad. Don't really see too many things in it. We're going to give that just a light, light wet sand. Just be careful not to cut through because now we are on black corners. Uh, so it's amazing. Uh, this isn't a shiny gray. This is, uh, like I say, this is a, uh, I got it all over the bottle, a medium air gray. So it's going to be more of a flat color. But this is the miracle of clear. So this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Just by putting clear coat on it. I should wet sand that down because there's a spot right there. But that's alright. I'm just going to, like I said, that's sprayed out. Beautiful. That's just fresh out of the booth, off the gun. Uh, no sanding or nothing on that. So we're going to make this look like that. And hopefully it turns out just as nice. Uh, without minimum work, minimal work to it. So... Like I said, we're going to get that just a light hit of wet sand. So we'll get our funky water back out here. Got my phone plugged in because, you know, using it all day at work uh, just takes up a lot all day long. So we get just a little piece of Trizac here. Like I say, we're just going to give it a light hit. Nothing magical, just a light. You know, sometimes when you paint primer, and not saying this is the same thing, uh, but sometimes primer you get that little bit of fuzzy edging on it. Uh, sometimes we'll have to do the same thing. So we're just taking some of those pieces down. And I'm not too worried about that because if he wants to, he can chrome that. So I believe that was chrome on the real deal. So these are the spots you really got to be careful of is this here. Um, just because of the edging. So we're getting in there best we can without getting too carried away. Now if I do go through on this here, um, we're definitely going to have to repaint it. So, Which I hope not because I don't have no more of this paint left. <laughs> That's all I had. Like I say, just enough to say, hey, let's clean it up. That looks pretty good. I'm going to get a brand new microfiber towel. Okay, guys, so it looks pretty good. So I'll give that a little bit of a wet sand, and then this will be good to go as well. And then at this point, uh, we're going to wrap this up for this video. Um, and then next time around, we're going to do is 
paint this silver and then we'll get some decals down we're going to clear it and we'll finish it up on the next video so we'll give this a quick wet sand and then we're going to call this good for this time around this sprayed out pretty good i don't think i had too much debris in this thankfully i think i had one spot in the trunk if i remember right but say so we gotta be careful now i'm not putting a lot of pressure on it it's just enough to make it happen like i said this is only five thousand, so it'll take a lot to actually go through something but it won't take too much so being this is lacquer uh we can get right on this right away um obviously if this is enamel we'd have to let it sit for a few days uh go from there that's one thing i do like about lacquer my downfall i don't like about lacquer is it's not that durable uh it'll chip easy uh don't take much to um walk away from like lines separation lines like this here it'll burn through that like super quick where enamel it takes a little bit so it's a little more forgiving so i'm just going to be careful with this because i don't need to sand too much of it just enough to let it know we we made it and that's all we're going to do is this that we're going to leave it like that uh these here i'm just going to touch the tops just where the high spot of the paint is because there's a lot of sharp corners here and i don't want to go through it you're thinking you didn't even hardly do nothing to it well i really didn't because i don't want to go through it all right guys that's going to wrap this up for this video i uh, like to say so it's ready to go so next time around how uh, we're going to do is we're going to mask this off and we're going to put mica silver on the bottom and we'll let that cure out and that should look pretty good so you can see where i scribed those body lines a little bit those turn out pretty nice got a little more depth to them and with the black primer they give you that little nice black look to it so it looks pretty good so then that guys we're gonna leave it at that and this should be ready to go next time around so so there we have it for today well guys i appreciate you tuning in the channel uh checking everything out uh following along uh if you guys aren't subscribers go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we will see you on the next video you guys have a good one and thanks for watching